What they were doing was Salvador Dali with an electric guitar, and Detroit was open to that. All they care about is, do you produce? Do you sweat? Do you entertain the people? And if you do that, they'll love you. Shep knew people that wanted to do a big concert called the Toronto Rock Revival. Shep spent a month helping them put that thing together. And they get John Lennon. Shep says, you don't have to pay me. The payment's going to be Alice Cooper goes on right before John Lennon. The stadium was absolutely full, packed. The crowd is getting very antsy. There was tons of excitement. It was a Beatle going to be going on next to us. And we're a no name. I knew that was a moment where we had to do something. You don't get to play with John Lennon too often. stage and the audience is a little bewildered but the energy behind the band they dug at the end of the show the idea was to open up three feather pillows co2 cartridge so it looked like snow for some reason there was a chicken backstage and when the feather pillows were that, I threw the chicken up. The next thing I looked down, there's a chicken. I went, okay, it had feathers, it had wings, it should fly. You know, it's a bird, right? A chicken's a bird. So I picked up the chicken and I chucked it in the audience. It came down and people grabbed the chicken and uh, let's just say it wasn't healthy for the chicken. The audience tore it to pieces and threw it back up on stage with blood, head, feathers. The crowd was totally shocked. This whole stadium was like dead quiet. We killed a chicken in front of 70,000 hippies. You brought me 